Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play XCOM. I've recently bought all the expansions and DLC for this game. I have played XCOM Enemy Unknown a fair amount, but not with the DLC and the expansion. Um, I'm going to be starting a single player game, playing on normal. Um, so what does second wave do? Hidden potential, stats increase randomly, rookies have random starting stats, the funding offered by individual council members is randomised and weapons have a much wider range of damage. Nah. Advanced options. Iron Man. Play of a single save that you update automatically as you progress through the game. In an Iron Man game, your choices and their consequences are permanent. Yes. Enable Iron Man. Recommended for experienced players. I am fairly experienced. Let's do this and we'll do the tutorial as well. Why not? Let's start the game, shall we? Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Arthur C. Clarke Yes, just walk towards the strange green mist. Stupid fools. Is that person taking pictures on their phone? Run, fool, run! Sucked in. Bit of a jump then. There's shadow outlines of where they were. I haven't even played the enemy within yet. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. Voodoo 3 1. Mission brief unknown, boogies, reclassified as intelligent, possibly extraterrestrial life. Several unidentified objects fell to Earth. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Shortly after impact, German officials received reports of mass hysteria and freak weather around one of the impact zones. Then things went dark. At 2100 hours, a chopper carrying a German military recon team went down in the area after they reported being fired upon. As you know, Germany is a member of the Council, and they have requested our assistance. Our mission is to assess the situation on the ground, ascertain the current status of the German recon team, and investigate the extraterrestrial objects. Central out. Hey, as I was saying, unexplained events at the impact site, yada yada yada, assess situation, locate German recon team, investigate extra extraterrestrial objects. Why is there a bit of a delay? That's weird. I mean, launch mission. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. Yes, set her down indeed. That is the Sky Ranger. Our troops are disembarking. Central, you getting all this? Copy that, Delta Squad. First things first, 
Let's get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, Indeed. take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Move here. Right click to send him. Soldier can move two times per turn. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Good. Now advance. We've got one move left. Nearby. Move here. Delta two, your turn. Move, move up to here. The move That's here. I'm going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. You move Sensor, here. I have movement. Thirty meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle. Watch movement. For a vantage point. Move there. Delta four, go check it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there. So you better double time it. Run. This is all the movement points. Holy hell. What do you see, Delta Four? Report. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta Four? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Healthy. Dr. Volland, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position. Based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover. Move both movement points. Move both movement points. Use both movement points. You're there. You go here. Central, I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. Move here. Central. Yeah. I, think I just found another one of the recon team. Or well, what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. He's a bit impatient. The only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Go, 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 go. Talk to me, soldier. What is it? I got no idea what this thing is. But I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. Move to the cop car. Okay, people. Now let's get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. Take a look. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. Through the window. Delta Two, that door's in our way. Take it down. Ah. Boot went through the door. You move here. Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy Delta Three. Okay, everyone, get into position nearby, but do not approach. Okay. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. Move here. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. He appears to be in shock. Let's move here. Your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. You move here. You move here. Delta three. Move in and disarm him. Carefully. Move here. <coughs> That's a big grenade. Alien! What the hell is he going on? Oh, 
Whoops. Ambush. He's down. Delta One is down. Ha 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 ha. Central, fire for this guy's got me pinned down, taking heavy fire. Okay, you. Damn it. Delta Two, your flank two. Find some better cover. Move here. Alright, Delta Two. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Press enter or the action wish to perform. Well, I'm gonna click one. And shoot at this guy. He's dead. Nice shot. Delta you move, four, up to move here. Out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Grenade. Okay, let's fire a grenade here. Bada boom. Look out, Delta Four. There's another <coughs> one coming in behind you. She's dead as well. It's just you now, Delta Two. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look around for a position where you can flank the enemy. Right here. That's it. You have a clear shot from that position. Shoot him. Fire. Oh yeah. Central. I think that's it. It's over. Mohawk guy survived. Roger that, Delta. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. Well, that's the first mission complete. Anyway, um, we can go to North America. All aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to produce, build, and maintain. Europe. Laboratories and workshops cost 50% less to build and maintain. You can't go to Asia. I can't remember the reason why. But projects at the foundry and officer training school cost 50% less. South America, autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly. In Africa, monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%. Well, I'm going to go to North America and confirm. Affirmative. We are coming home. Airplanes are quite expensive. One man walks off. What are they? Aliens. Whatever they are, they nearly took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. I'm Their right here. Is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, doctor. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Okay, I'll do just that. Commander to the barracks. Commander barracks. to the barracks. Commander, the soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. View soldiers. Select him. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Indeed. Abilities. Abilities. As you know, Commander, every soldier is different. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. There we go. The will now carry a rocket launcher in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Oh yes, they will. Oh, I'll see it coming. Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Okay. To the research labs. Research labs. 
Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With oh, your really? approval, we will begin research immediately. Okay. Um, well, I need four sectoid corpses. I need two more for the xenobiology. Weapon fragments. Uh, fragments, all that remain of the powerful alien weaponry we've encountered so far. Further study could lead to advances in our own weapons, development programs, and alien materials. The aliens appear to be using materials that are lighter and stronger than anything we've ever seen. A cursory examination has given us ideas for ways to improve the soldier's current body armor, but more research is required. I'm going to go for weapon fragments first. It's going to take eight days. Both take eight days. This one would take eight days as well. Begin. Thank you, Commander. This research will take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. Commander to mission control. Commander to it mission sounds control. like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. I bet you would. Commander to mission control. Hey, mission control. Commander to mission control. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Okay. View abduction sites. We have the United States, which will give us four scientists, or China, which will give us 200 cash. I think having 200 cash to start off with would be better. So I'm going to do that. Confirm. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. Well, I'm going to take who I have and launch the mission. Flying to China. 1st of March, 2015. We have visual on the mission. Site. Let's begin the assault. We're heading into China for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Okay, let's do that. And we've landed. He was screaming at something. Hold on, soldier. Before <coughs> you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Which building? This building? Is closer, so let him check it out. Click on you. You move here. Good. Now open the door. Quietly. Click so on the don't door. Your position to the enemy. And okay. move here. Now take cover inside. All right. Now I want a man on the roof of that building. See if you can find a way up there, soldier. Selected him. If I scroll up the mass wheel, I can run him here. There they are. The rest of you, advance toward the enemy and get into cover. Hold your fire until I give the word. Okay. You move. Let's move you over here. You can move You move here There we go, better 
Oop, he's lost his cover. Um, let's go change person. I could use the rocket. Fire it in the middle and get both of them. No. Let's shoot. 52, 68. Let's try this guy. Oh, he's dead, that's good. You open this door. You move here. Shoot this guy. 38% chance. You missed. Move here. 25% chance. Missed. No, that is not good. You move here. 31% chance. You all missed. Alien's turn. He's running away. Shoot him. Great work out there, people. The commander will be assuming command now as you sweep the rest of the area. As always, I'll be offering tactical advice as needed. You move remember, here. Your armor can only withstand a couple of shots from their weapons. So keep your eyes open and your heads down. Go there. Good luck. You move here. And then here. You move to this location here. Aliens turn. You can run up to this location here. Jump down the side of the building. You go here. Ooh, you spotted something. Can't see him anymore though. You move here. Look who's here. Ooh, they spotted us now. I'm running inside. You go here. You run. Yeah, I want a two-pronged assault, I think. Supporting the other guy with his mind powers. Who are you going to shoot? Nobody! A veteran's rocket launcher should make easy work of the structure the aliens are using for cover. And if we're lucky, it'll take out the aliens along with it. That is, if it hits. You go there. Now you can't fire your rocket now. But you could move to this location here. You go here. And hunker down. I do want to use the bazooka because it's quite a fun weapon. You run there. You can run... here. What are the aliens going to do? He's going to support his buddy? Oh no, maybe not. Oop. But another one like that, and that'll be the end of you. Make sure to stay in cover. He's in cover. Why are you firing your gun? gun Fool. <laughs> well, that's no bloody good. You run there. Fire at him. Missed. 
you run here shoot him yes come on missed Run here. Go on, hit him. Target still up. Supporting your buddy, are you? Shooting him over there. Oh, you missed. You fire your bazooka. Here. Come on, hit. Haha. -ha. Dead. Out of ammo here. Good work out there, strike. One. Excellent. Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Cool beans. Heading back to base. We've landed. Wounded for six days. He got all the kills. <laughs> What's that mean? He got a promotion ready, maybe? I don't know. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay. Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the Council. Hello, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Regardless, you performed admirably. As agreed upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. As do I. Panic has increased across North America. Continue. The Council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only so much we can do. However, our Chief Engineer did come up with something to help you keep an eye on things. The Situation Room provides constant monitoring of every member nation in the Council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the Council. And they'll take their funding and additional support with them. The Council's overall confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which engineering has nicknamed the Doom Tracker. <laughs> Commander to Mission Control. Commander to Mission Control. Let's go to Mission Control quickly. Commander, Dr. Vallen reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. Well, then I, now that I can actually scan for activity, I'm going to call that it for part one. Join me next time for part two, guys. I'll see.